Happy birthday. We all know how old we are in years, but could our bodies actually be aging faster or slower than the calendar? There's a simple way to find out by measuring the length of a critical part of our chromosomes. Telomeres are stretches of DNA at the end of your chromosomes and they protect the ends of your chromosomes because you don't want anything to happen to those because they're really important. As we age, our cells are constantly dividing and with each cell division, those telomeres get progressively shorter. Studies have linked short telomeres to heart disease, diabetes, even Alzheimer's. Some researchers claim telomere length is a good way to tell the true biological age of our cells. Your telomere length tells you your age in telo years. And now an at-home test kit will actually measure the length of your telomeres and tell you the rate at which your cells are supposedly aging. My age is just 29 in telo years. I was curious, so I decided to give it a try. It's sort of like a consumer fitness tracker for your own DNA that kind of gives you feedback on how well you're doing. So I sent off a blood test a few weeks later. We got the test results back. As it turns out, my Tila years age is three years younger than my calendar age. So my cells are reportedly younger than my calendar age. That's a good thing, right? Well, not necessarily. Experts working in the field of aging say that the predictive health value of telomere length, well, that's still pretty controversial. When I spoke with some of the country's foremost experts from the American Federation for Aging Research... Unfortunately, the direct linkage to aging and longevity is uh, simply not there for people yet, and we can't really use the information that comes from it. And in fact, having long telomere is also a health risk. In cancer, the telomeres are very long. So the telomeres really have to be just right. It's what some researchers call the telomere Goldilocks zone. Not too short, not too long. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. Now we had the test kit sent to a New Jersey address and that's because this particular test is legal in every state except New York and Maryland where health departments say that there's not enough proof the test can actually predict health outcomes.